I would like to teach you how to make a recording on Seesaw for instructions. So for example, here is my voice recording reading the instructions for my students. So as you can see, my students will be able to click on the sound and they'll be read the instructions. So I'm going to show you step by step how I was able to complete that and add it to my seesaw. So the first thing you have to do is go on to Google. I typed in sound clip art and I chose this picture. And I click copy image. And then I went back on to Seesaw. I added a new page. On my Dell computer, I used the keyboard and pressed Control V. So it was able to put my image on the page. Then what I did was record the question. So what I'm going to do is record myself reading the instructions for this question, okay? So I click on the mic tool and I'm going to start recording. Color three cubes blue, color two cubes green. Together, my blue three stick and green two stick are the same length as blank cubes. Okay, so after you record your voice, they have this cool feature that says recording added to new page. So when it adds to a new page, you'll have your picture and your recording together. So you just click on okay. And this is what I have now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on my keyboard, control C. And then what I can do, I can just paste it on this page by clicking control V. Okay, now I'm gonna click on this to make it smaller. And there you have it. Students will be able to click on it and hear the instructions. So let's take a listen. Okay, and there you have it. So for the new page that Seesaw created, you can just go ahead and delete that because you don't need it now. So when you go on to it, it'll still be on your page where you need it for your students. I hope this helped you very much. I know it helps me a lot. And thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe and like my video if you enjoyed it and it helped you. Bye.